post a before shot of my butt. So I'm doing this challenge, which I'll put a link to below. Okay, so before everybody gets like all worked up and stuff, I'm wearing a bathing suit, so it's not my underwear. Um, but I wanted to be really transparent and show you guys the results that I get through doing this two week challenge, which I'll link below. It's called the Brazilian Butt Lift Challenge and I have two weeks till my holiday. Go ahead and do a before shot. I did the first workout today, so here we go. Here is the before shot from the side. And we'll see what happens in two weeks time. I'll probably update again next week. Right now my bathing suit's also fitting a little smugger than I'd like it to. <laughs> so it's lunch time. I've been busy working out. I'm almost done. I'm going to do my stairs. I've just finished jogging and I wanted to show you what I'm making for lunch. So I'm making my one of my favorite things. This is just like a burrito bowl kind of situation. And what I always do is I just make like a whole bunch of rice. This is probably like four pounds of rice I'm making because it will go into dinner time. I add beans and I add salad and I make a big salsa to flavor everything up. So this is how I do it. It's just so easy. I just add all my tomatoes whole in a blender because my blender's pretty good. It depends on your blender. You may need to chop them up. I've got two cloves of garlic. Um, I've got a red bell pepper here and a whole bunch of cilantro, a little bit of lemon juice, and I'm just gonna blend this up. And I don't really, if you want it to be more of a thick or chunky salsa, I wouldn't recommend blending it. I would recommend a food processor, um, but I like mine pretty fine. And I'm just, it's just going to basically flavor up my food. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up and I'll show you how I put you everything. See, my rice is done. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add this. Now, this is not very good salsa. Um, if you wanted to dip chips in there, I'm gonna be quite honest, because it turns out to be quite gelatin-y. It always happens, but it works well in this recipe. So I know it might look a little gross at first, but I'm telling you, it will be fine when you mix it up with the beans and the rice. So now I'm gonna add my beans. I'm actually using a mixture of chickpeas and kidney beans. I usually wouldn't go for chickpeas, but you know, we didn't have anything else. And that's all I'm gonna do for today. So I'm not that adventurous right now. <laughs> this also already has a lot of flavor, so. All right, now I just mix up all the beans with the rice, and then we'll make our little burrito bowl. Lunch is served. It looks so good. All I did was add romaine lettuce because that's all we have for today. All right guys, it is the end of the day and I had the same thing that I had for lunch, for dinner. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys these. I haven't tasted them yet, but I'm gonna taste them on camera. Low fat, high carb, vegan donuts. I will, if they're good, I'm gonna post a recipe to these. So let's go ahead and give them a try. I also made a caramel sauce, but I'm gonna try them plain first. Pretty good. Weird ingredients, but it looks like once I bit into it plates and focus. I'm gonna try it with the caramel now. Got a little bit of date, caramel sauce. This is just dates and rice milk. Oh my God. The caramel and the chocolate. There's probably only about like, probably less than three grams of fat in these. Probably not the best on the stomach. It's got kind of a weird ingredients list. It's not, it's all whole foods and everything. It's just, well, I'll just tell you, there's chickpeas in here <laughs> and flour. I'll post the recipe because I think these are quite good, a quite good treat for high carb, low fat vegans. Mm-hmm, okay. So, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll keep you guys updated next week on the butt situation, the cellulite situation. And I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my evening and enjoy these donuts. See you guys next time. Bye.